Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the beautiful islands of Trinidad and Tobago. And today we are heading to Cora River within the green lush mountains next to a river. And it's a very famous place to hang out, to socialize, to cook and to eat. And so today the plan is we're gonna go to the river. We're gonna cook some curry goat and some curry duck. We're going to enjoy the nature and enjoy some delicious food. And I'm gonna share it all with you coming up right now in this video. To Cora River. Cora River, and this yeah. is like a traditional. Yeah, so it's Monday. Lining spot. It's a Monday, so every Monday is Cora. Oh, and it's yeah. it specifically it's, on a Monday. Yeah, it's 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 a traditional thing on a Monday to go to to the river, and more specifically Cora River. Okay. So we're going down there, and as we call it, we're going to bubble up pot, as in cook some cook some curry. We're going to have some curry goat and some curry duck today. Yes. With some dal piri roti, some manga, uh, mango and chanana. Awesome. So we have a full line up today. Awesome. About a 45 minute drive from Port of Spain, we are at Cora River. And people hang out, make food, eat, take dips in the river, and just enjoy nature, I think, right? Yeah, and that's much. what we're here to do that's, today. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you, man? This is hey, Kevin. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Excuse me, one minute. No problem, no problem, no problem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Ciao. Cucumber and plums. Ciao. Try some of this ciao. Yes. Cucumber. What are these little? Plums. Mmm. Very nice. Oh, man. Sour, salty. Very good. The scenery here is spectacular. The clear mountain water, the nature, the bamboo, the trees, it's green, it's lush, it's fresh. And I mean, this is just one of the great traditions of Trinidad and Tobago is just hanging out, liming, relaxing, hanging out with friends, socializing, and to just be surrounded by gorgeous nature in the mountains next to the river just makes it all the more better. Kevin, are you the main chef? <laughs> Kinda. Yes, awesome. <laughs> I'm a sous chef and a uh, second man on deck in case, <laughs> okay. in case I fall short. <laughs> what are you cooking first, Kevin? Um, We'll be doing the giraffe lock oh, and giraffe the curry pork. goat. And curry goat. Excellent, excellent. One time. So it was washed, pre-washed already. Okay. So we're good to go. I'm gonna grab a little too much. Oh so this tradition is especially for Monday? Um, no, any day of the week. Actually. Or any day of the week. Any day of the week. Okay. Okay. Trinidad, yeah, but on the river, is okay. it a any day of the week also? Any day of the week. Guys, you love you, they will turn on. Well, we have a song that, that sings about it on a, on a Monday. On a Monday. Oh, that's just because nobody wants to go to work on Monday and they'd rather be liming. <laughs> yes. They'd rather continue the weekend. <laughs> rather continue the weekend. We'll play that song for a little later. Ah. <laughs> on to the meat. Black pepper. Yeah, so you come to So the onions. Garlic. Garlic. Scythe. And we have some of the fine thyme and parsley here. Alright, so that's All right. that. And now, no get in there. Okay. Mix that around. Yes. Is this curry powder? Yes. That should be good enough. That should be good enough. All right, thank you. Seasoning for the goat. Complete. Oh, yeah. And that's just the first layer of flavor. That's just the first layer. First layer. You're going to drink the market. Cheers. Cheers. Mandatory beverage while we're cooking. Oh, with the coconut water. So this is for the pork or for the, the goat? This is for the goat, okay. I like how you left those peppers chunky. 
Those go into the hot oil with the fumes coming out. Oh man, that's aromatic. Onions, garlic. We're beginning on the, the curry goat. Madras, Madras curry powder yes. and... All right. And anchar masala. And Oh man, that's smelling good. The goat is well underway. We're gonna get started with the pork. And this will be jira, jira pork? Jira pork. Salt and pepper. Basics. Not too much. And this is the most important. Roasted jira. Roasted jira. Oh, okay. So you come from a food so, family. Yes. <laughs> and I actually don't cook like this usually. I just cook for fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You cook for the lime. Yeah, for, cook yeah. for the lime. Yes. He's a lime cook. Pimentos. People love their music as well. That music is coming all the way from that car down there. <laughs> Two peppers, hot peppers. Oh, those are beauties. Oh man, I love right. those hot peppers. It's almost like a star fruit. Thank you. So that roasted jira goes in. That's gonna have like two layers of jira already to that jira pork. Oh, roasted jira. It smells so good, the cumin. How long do these need to boil for? Uh, probably a half hour again. Half hour again? Yeah. Okay. You want to reduce all that Sorry. reduce all that juice and water until it gets condensed. Nice and thick a little bit. And tender. There's also going to be curried duck, so it gets that same seasoning treatment with all of those herbs, the garlic, the pimentos, the shadow benny, some uh, black pepper and salt. So it's almost ready. A little extra fresh seasoning. Yes. Oh, it's so good. Tender. The roasted jira is incredible. Very good. So also today, Damien has joined us and he's a chow master. He's gonna make a variety of chows for us to try. A pineapple, a mango, yep. and chow is, would you say chow is like a very popular snack? Or yeah, is it, I, I, is it I, I, a snack or is it a, what, what, what genre of food is a chow? You see, I, I eat chow all the time. So it okay. is considered a snack. Like it can yes. be part of a meal. It can be part of a meal. You could actually put it in an actual It could be a sandwich. snack. Oh, okay. It could be almost like a pickle. Yeah, like a relish. Like yeah. a pickle or a relish or a That's garnish. Right. Yeah. It's, it's in everything. Trinidad seasoning and... So 
flavor enhancer. All right, so you cut it in like this. So you don't actually have the eyes okay. on it, right? So I actually cut it up right there. So we're putting the chow sauce right on it. So there it is, that's the pineapple chow. Just directly slice up the pineapple, fresh pineapple with that chow sauce. Mm. Got the sweetness of the pineapple, the spice and the herbaceousness of the chow sauce. There's no, um, there's no spikes. Spiky. <laughs> First, I went a little slice right into, uh, so this is actually lime. What happens is that when it's really too hot, So that's the chow. Oh man, I just love how it just elevates fruit. That's an ultimate next level fruit salad. I'm gonna try that mango. Mm. Oh wow, it's great. The garlic and shadow menu, the pepper. Plus you have that natural flavor of the fruit, the sweet and sour, the mango. Oh yeah. The palm tree. It's a little bit stringy, but kind of like a flavor of a mango. Oh, and you make your own hot sauce. Pepper sauce. Kevs. Kevs. All over to the side. Okay, maybe to the side so that everyone can. Oh, it's hot. You can see how wobbly and tender it is. I'm gonna dip it into Kev's pepper sauce. Wow. These are called cutters. This is like your snack plate before the real meal. The whole you over. Mm. Oh, it's tender. So much flavor wrapped up in that seasoning and that curry powder. The pepper sauce. Mm. This will hold us over for the meal. Uh, chickpeas. Yeah, so that's gonna be the last dish. We're getting ready, getting close to eating, to the feast. But the chickpeas and the potatoes, the duck is almost ready, and the goat and the pork are already finished. Let's eat. Yes. Thank you, Kev. I'm going in for the duck. Oh yeah. Oh, look at how rich that sauce is. How thick that sauce is. Simmered down. The proteins, you got the, this one is the jira pork, which I had a few samples of, which is extraordinarily tasty. To maximize that amount of sauce. The kana and the potatoes. The curry mango. Load up on some of Kev's own pepper sauce. And this is hot pepper sauce. It's so good. So this is called boring, where you take the pepper and you'll basically dip it all over oh, your okay. food. And then when you roti, you mix it up. Okay. So this is called boring. Thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. Oh, nice. The bus up. The bus up shot. Okay. We also have dal puri below. Oh, okay. Oh, dal puri. Dal puri. Which one would you prefer? Maybe a little bit of both. Yeah? I'll have some dal puri. Thank you. Thank you very hot. Oh, that is hot off the press. Okay, there we go. So, quite a, an amazing atmosphere. Home cooked food. Oh man, it's so good. All the different dishes, the variety, the fresh rotis, and then also the, the top of the chili to, to wipe things down to make it even hotter. Okay, I'm gonna go in for some of that, that dal puri. 
So it is like a, a roti, but stuffed with, with dal. I'm going in for that pork. Actually, where's that duck? I gotta go duck. The duck. Oh man, all the juices are coming together. Starting to blend. Yeah, nice and tender. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, the duck has just shimmered down until ultra tender. Mmm. Mmm. I love all that fresh seasoning. The garlic. The pepper sauce is incredible. Oh, man. The shadow bending. Mmm. Wow. So much flavor. So good. Okay, moving in for that. I think we have some of the pork here. Some of the jira pork. But I love how in Trinidad you just get everything on one plate and everything just starts to mingle together on your plate. Mm. And the sweetness of that, that curry mango as well. I almost forgot that was on the top of my plate. It looks really well with mm -hmm. the other stuff. It just kind of melted into everything. Yeah, you gotta come here, Kev. For real? Come on, Kev. Oh, man. Kev, thank you for cooking the food. Thank oh, you yeah? for cooking, Kev. It's okay? Amazing. Amazing. So much flavor. Okay, I'm going in for that goat. The goat is over this side. Mmm. I'm gonna try some of that pepper, yeah. Bore it and bite it. Okay, chase it. Oh, 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 wow. It just immediately kind of goes up your nose a little bit. Oh, the flavor of the peppers here in Trinidad are just insane. Look at the way the duck just pulls apart from that bone. Mm. What else do you have in the pepper sauce, Kev? Garlic. Garlic. Salt, vinegar, and of course, pepper. And pepper. Oh, look at the tenderness. The tenderness, I think that's the duck. <laughs> and finish off that, what is it called, the borage? Bore. Bore. He <laughs> did? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. That's some heat though. Oh, that is some heat. That will make you sweat. Yeah. All right, because of you, Mom? Yes. Cheers. 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 Nice. Camille is a spice maniac. And I just love all those flavors together, mingled with the chana. <laughs> I don't even just a lot of rain. That's a rain. That's a rain. That's a rain. That's a rain. That's the pepper rain. That is pepper sweat right there. Yeah. Mix with the humidity, yeah. Loving the food and loving life right now. Just drenched. Drenched. How's the food over there? Very good. Hot but good. Food down there? Good. Kev has absolutely hooked it up for this meal, man. What a treat. What a flavor overdose this meal is. Even though it started raining and got pretty cloudy, there's still one more thing that we have to do to complete this ultimate river lime in Trinidad. Oh yeah. It's cold, you see? Cold, it's wonderful. That is cold. cold. Oh yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that completes the full experience. Happiness, pure happiness in Trinidad. Full of extremely delicious food and what a natural environment. Oh, that's refreshing. Okay. Oh, that was cold. <laughs> that felt amazing. Rejuvenated.
And then finally, to complete this tour of nature and delicious food, we are at the Caroni Bird Sanctuary. This is a wetlands in Trinidad and Tobago, one of the biggest. It's known for its amazing species of birds, the scarlet ibis, which hopefully we'll have a chance to see. We're gonna jump on a boat, we're gonna go through the wetlands, uh, see some of the flora and fauna, see some of the wildlife, the amazing birds, and I think we're having dinner on the boat. Okay. Good evening, Alan. Good evening. How, How are, are you? you? Great. I'm taking some bright sunlight right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. That looks nice, though. Yes, it's really <laughs> nice. A nice play off the side of me, I guess. So you could probably, um, we are off. Probably get some. Oh, this is Lester. Oh, Lester. Hi, cool. Guys, yeah. Cool to meet you, Lester. Yeah. Nice to have you here with us today. Cheers to Mark and Ying. Cheers. 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 Thank you, Visit Cheers. Trinidad. Cheers. Thank you, Vanessa Cheers. and Jack and Thank you, Mark everyone. And Ying. Yeah. Thank you. We are off. 40 square miles of wetlands due to land depression, we are south of the Northern Range. So the Carney River is, is, um, is the longest river in Trinidad. It starts all the way from Valencia and it brings all the nutrients from the Northern Range. Animal matter, plant matter, detritus, nutrients. And that goes all the way down at the deposits at the Gulf and then it resuspends with the high tide or flood tide. And that particular substance a deposit on the mud flats and on the tree roots and then millions of crabs come out to feed on that deposit and then the birds go around feeding on the crabs. Scarlet type is depend on that, those crabs, shrimp, fish, marine worms to get their red color and it takes them about two and a half to three years for that to happen. Sometimes it depends on where they're feeding so we hope that we see flamingos all right but the scarlet type is for sure they are in the thousands they just came out from nesting. <laughs> Fully underway here we are getting into some of the narrow channels of water, going through the mangroves, it's beautiful. The sun of the evening is coming down and we're starting off on dinner. First course, gourmet dinner, uh, pumpkin soup. Mmm, nice. Almost like a pumpkin tomato, well-seasoned soup. Mmm. This is actually quite an amazing experience to be within nature, but have food at the same time. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> What's great too, Mark, is that you're with a bunch of Chinese who have never done this, so yeah. might as well be from a different country at this point. <laughs> now, especially with my company, when I came across our first wildlife, a snake in the tree, digesting. coming into this mangrove tunnel. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, there they are. Feeding on is what turns them scarlet. Crabs, shrimp, fish, marine worms. And together with the chemistry of the bird, this is what enhances the scarlet color. The carotene from the food passes through their flesh and it goes to the feather tissue. And the birds take about two and a half to three years to get that color. Okay, so after being in that amazing tunnel of mangroves, we've emerged into this more open area with the surrounding views and we're seeing sightings of the scarlet ibis, which is the national bird of Trinidad. It's absolutely beautiful, known for its bright, kind of orangey red color. And uh, they get that color, that pigment from what they eat, all different shellfish and crabs. And we're gonna, there's a whole island where they're like, is there, are they nesting or breeding there? They're roosting. Or are they roosting? Okay. Okay, and they, they spend here every night here on this little island. Wow, it's so beautiful. Almost look like flowers, because we're far away now. It almost look like flowers the way they're, they're within that island. About 8 to 35 feet above the tree is they're totally scarlet. Extra money, he would come into the swamp here. Oh man, if things could not get more peaceful and better, and watching the Scarlet ibis come in to roost. The full dinner is served and we've got a massive plate of dinner here. Um, fish, chicken, chunky veg, and... Eggplant. Oh, eggplant. Creamy cassava. Creamy cassava. Deep fried plantains. Deep fried plantains. Wow, that's quite a, quite a feast on the boat. What a beautiful scenery. What a way to end the day. 
quite a romantic dinner here, Alan. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know when we were coming through the tunnel, tunnel of love, I felt something. <laughs> Let's eat. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> mmm. It's a person flavor. Nice. Culture. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like. Remember, Trinidad is rich with mm -hmm. so many different cultures in one. So many different cultures, yeah. yeah. Pepper sauce. A little pepper sauce on there. A little. Right, you're not drinking that. <laughs> yeah, you're locked, you're locked. Anyway, you're eating whole scorpion pepper, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So these are the sesame mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, really fantastic meal. Great company, of course. Big up to Vanessa. Mm -hmm. She's the one behind the scenes that's always hiding in whatever <laughs> video I put out. Oh, these are the plantains, the fried plantains. Mm -hmm. nice. nice. Yeah. Mmm. Wow, much oh, I love, love fried plantains. And then I think the last thing on my plate is the chunky veg. <laughs> chunky <laughs> veg, yes. <laughs> it's one of my favorite food terms I've learned in Trinidad. <laughs> the chunky veg, restaurant. Chinese style stir fried vegetables. Cut, I guess it is kind of chunky. <laughs> it is kind of chunky. <laughs> but everybody knows it as chunky veg. I'm gonna call all stir fried vegetables chunky veg. <laughs> Mm. Great. And beautiful weather too. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. weather, cool right. breeze. Amazing. Yeah. We are back, it got dark fast, but that was an amazing way to end this day. Uh, the Scarlet Ibis, and actually it turned out to be kind of a nature-oriented uh, tour with food. A, a huge thank you to Kev, the river lime was amazing, and to Zach, and then most importantly, thank you to Vanessa, and thank you to Visit Trinidad for sponsoring my trip, for arranging this entire trip to Trinidad and Tobago, and for organizing and for setting everything up, all of these experiences. There's gonna be a lot of videos, so make sure you stay tuned for lots more videos coming up from Trinidad and Tobago. But that completes this video, and I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Trinidad. I'll see you on the next video.